Welcome to this video on tank sentry calibration. These calibration instructions are for tank sentry panels with rectangular LEDs and push button calibration with serial numbers starting at 12,000. These instructions are not for panels produced before 2012 with round LEDs. Let's quickly talk about how the tank sentry works. Basically what we're doing is we're measuring the hydrostatic pressure inside the tube and our tank sentry sender, which is our SIM23QR or 23QS, sends a voltage signal to our panel and the panel reads out in 10% increments to the height of the liquid in the tank. So if the height of the liquid was at 100%, all the LEDs will light up. It's important to remember when calibrating the tank sentry for full to always make sure the tank is full and not over full. You want to make sure the liquid is at the top of the tank but not inside the vent. When the liquid is inside the vent it will give you a false reading. Make sure panel is connected to proper SIM and the SIM is purged by pressing the button underneath the SIM. On the back of the monitor panel there are two black push buttons, full set and empty set. They are used to set the empty, which is zero, and the full readings on the monitor panel. To begin calibration, simply hold the full set and empty set buttons down until you get flashing LEDs on the front of the panel. Once released, the 100% and 10% LEDs are illuminated on the front of the panel. The full and empty calibration can begin. Calibrate for full we simply press the full set button down while the tank is full. To calibrate for empty we can simply unplug the tubing to simulate empty either from the top of the tank fitting or the tank sender, the sim. Once empty is simulated we come to the back of the panel and press the empty set button. After empty has been set, you reconnect the tubing and repurge the sim. And that is how you calibrate a tank sentry. Thank you. Tip: A calibration kit is available from Headhunter that allows you to quickly simulate various depth tanks. It can save time and is great for troubleshooting.